Well, hello, church. This is Pastor Joel, and I want to make another video for the series that we're going through on our YouTube channel here. And it's a series that we're looking at, what does it mean to be a mature disciple of Christ? What does that actually look like? And what we're doing is we're going through 1 Timothy chapter 3 and looking at the qualifications of the pastor. You might say, I'm not going to be a pastor. I don't need this. But but hold on. Don't click off yet. This is actually just looking at what it means to be a mature disciple of Christ. Because that's the qualifications here, with the exception of maybe one, that it's just saying this is what it means to be a mature disciple of Christ. And that's what is the requirement to help lead the church. And so this is something that I hope that every single one of us aspires to. It starts out by saying that if you aspire these things and you, you desire a good thing, and these are good things to aspire to. And so if we've already looked at what does it mean to be above reproach and a husband of one wife, today we're going to look at what does it mean to be sober-minded, sober-minded. Now, before we go any further, let me clarify. Because you might say, sober-minded, so it's, you're not supposed to be drunk? Well, no, that's not actually what this is talking about. We will get to that, actually. It will, there was another qualification that says, don't be drunk. And, and we'll talk more about what that means once we get there. But today, we're not going to look at that. And so if it, there's another qualification that says, don't be drunk, then when it says, be sober-minded, we have to say, what does that mean then? Does, what is that talking about? <laughs> well, let's start thinking. Okay, what does it look like to be sober? Hopefully you're sober right now. And so you can think about this. If not, you'll have to watch this later. But hopefully you're sober right now. And so it, it means that you're clear minded. You can think clearly. You're not under the influence of every, anything else, but you can look around and you can make a decision. We, we all know that you shouldn't drive drunk or even drive a little bit tipsy or anything like that. Why? Because you, your judgment is impaired. You won't be able to make a wise decision, a quick decision, the right decision. Why? Because you are impaired by something else. And in the exact same way, in every single part of our life, we need to be sober-minded that we can look around, be vigilant. And so Peter actually says that we need to be vigilant because there's a, a lion roaring around who's Satan. He's going to try to devour you. And so we need to be vigilant on every single moment of every single day to say, you know what? I'm going to try to make the best decisions here. Now, this isn't just to be shrewd or wise so that we can gain a lot of money or influence or, or whatever, but instead we need to be sober-minded and such a way that we are always looking out to say, how can I follow Jesus better? There's a pothole over there that I want to miss. <laughs> there, there's some uh, a fork in the road and I need to make sure that I go the right way. And, and so in every single part of our life, we need to be sober minded in such a way that says, I want to follow Christ. I'm thinking clearly on how to follow Christ. And if you truly are sober minded, you're also planning ahead. A drunk person doesn't plan ahead, right? They just simply react and they react poorly. They react slowly. But when you're sober and you know what to expect and you're sober minded to know that I, I know the risk involved in that. I know how to get to this place over here. You're planning ahead. You're saying, how can I follow Jesus better? And so let me ask you, how are you in this area of your life right now? Are you being sober minded? Are you making plans ahead to say, I want to follow Jesus in this way? I want to get up every single morning so that I can think clearly as my mind is, is still clear in the morning. Or maybe I'm going to stay up late after everybody else goes to bed. And so I can just spend some time on my knees in prayer. That's how we make sure that we are going to be sober minded in every single day. So let me encourage you. Pursue after that today. God bless.